his teammate, second oldest defender of the NFL. Have mercy. A little bit. He gets him, and then it, it go down gently, Jim. Okay. Former teammate Richard Dent. You want to see people say, well, Dent can't do it anymore. Watch this. And Tommy, he just reaches around the blocker, and you, you get down. And this was happening all day as long as McMahon was in the pocket. Trace Armstrong. Now, he doesn't have the affiliation to McMahon, and he nails him. It's called roughing the passer. Dave wants that. So, wait a minute. He was right there. He was right in his face. McMahon wants to know where's the protection. Meanwhile, Neil Anderson, first start of the year, and early on gave the Bears some hope. Slicing for 15 yards up the middle. Then, on the draw, Anderson gets the big hole up the middle. It goes for 19 more yards down to the one, setting up a hardball one-yard run. And uh, the Bears lead at 7-0. What about Barry Word? I mean, only became a Viking less than two weeks ago. Never a discouraging word today for Barry. Ran 13 yards up the middle. Then what's Chris Carter, number 80, throw a block right there to help spring word for some yards, and Barry looked good. Yeah, and Chris, you say he only joined him two weeks ago. It doesn't take more than two weeks to learn to do this. <laughs> Lower your head, get into the pile, and push the pile. Seven yards on that play. Then word goes... 10 more, barreling off left guard up to the five-yard line, set up a field goal by Reves, 7-3 Chicago. Barry, 94 yards rushing, 58 receiving for a buck, 53. Pretty good day at the office. Now fourth quarter, still 7-3 Bears. Third and two, Jimmy Mack. Find Steve Jordan from Brown University. First down, then Mack back to work, dumps it to Barry Word, has uh, some blockers with him, and Word takes a 27 yards, rumbling, bumbling to the sideline. Then on third down, McMahon. Now Jimmy knows to move out of the pocket a little bit, and what does Chris Carter do, Tommy? Just catch his touchdown. That's all he does. 16 yards, eight minutes to go. The Vikings lead it 10 to 7. And as you say, the Vikings made the adjustment, started doing a good job of moving McMahon out of the pocket, took some of that pressure off of him. So the Vikes, not a pretty win for the Bears. Their first 0-2 start since 1982. Once that's going to have a couple of years to change things around and go his way. In the meantime, they'll take their lumps. And the Vikings beat the Bears today 10-7.